a well-born guide. Have PhD Will Travel provides accurate, entertaining, and informative tours with Stephanie Beninato, a local professional historian. A 36-year resident of New Mexico, Stephanie has been a tour guide for over 18 years. Come experience either one of our regularly scheduled tours or create a custom tour of your own. So this is St. Francis Cathedral behind me. It is either the fourth or fifth church that was built on this site. Construction started in 1853 and stopped in 1878. Notice I don't say was completed because if you look at drawings there should be an additional three stories on each of the two towers. Now some people say the ground couldn't support the weight but if you start looking around you see the places where windows should be and there aren't any. You'll see unfinished columns. So really they ran out of money and in 1878 the Pope said you may not be done with this cathedral but you are finished. You are so over budgeted. Now if you look at the second column out from the doors and look at the archway in the top, the one with the fruits and flowers on it, you're going to see at the top a triangle and inside there's Hebraic lettering that is the name of God. Now. Um, some people say this is a typical element in European cathedrals and others say that our bishop, our first Catholic bishop, Jean-Baptiste Lamy, or Lamy as we call him, put it on the church to thank the German Jewish merchants who contributed generously to the construction of the cathedral. Now to find out the true skivvy, you'll just have to come on my Jewish legacy in New Mexico tour. So this is Evangelos, and this is what I call, call a hardcore neighborhood bar, meaning that people like to come here frequently and hang out for long periods of time. Until about 1950, it was a house, and so again, it gives you an idea of how much downtown Santa Fe has changed. Uh, and Evangelo was famous for other reasons in that his image was taken during World War II by a famous uh, photographer, William Smith, and then one of those images was used on a 34 cent stamp. So people would come here to meet Evangelo after that stamp was issued. Today, the bar is run by his son, Nick. There are pool tables downstairs, and there's music here almost every night. And Nick is trying to bring in different kinds of people, different segments of the population, by having different kinds of music, including reggae, jazz, and again, all kinds of music. Um, it has another claim to fame in that it was the site of the filming for Crazy Heart with Jeff Bridges fairly recently. Um, I don't know if you remember, but in 1986, um, there was an event called the Harmonic Convergence. And this was in a planetary alignment that's supposed to foretell the end of the world in 2012. Now, for a large segment of people around here, the best place to spend the Harmonic Convergence was out in Chaco Canyon, a 16-mile long valley that has a lot of ruins and is considered a sacred site. But if you couldn't get out there or you didn't want to spend the harmonic convergence with 2,000 other people, according to one local, the second best place to spend the harmonic convergence was right here at Evangelos. And I'll let you figure out why. So this is a haunted house and it was the Grant Corner Inn and it's now the Andrew Smith Photography Gallery. Everything was going along quite well until one night Art goes out to some event at the College of Santa Fe and when he comes back he's making himself something to eat, listening to the news, when he begins to hear this really loud noise on the second floor. And he goes, uh, wait a minute, I don't even remember seeing a light on. And the nonprofit generally doesn't work at night. So he calls down to the office and he can hear the phone ringing and ringing, but nobody's answering it. And the, and the noise is getting louder and louder. And then he begins to hear noise on the roof above him and he thinks maybe a burglary is in progress. So first he calls his parents and then he calls the police. Now he's hoping for a quick response from the police because not only was his brother an officer on the force, but the police station was just two blocks from here. So a few minutes later, even though he doesn't see any flashing lights outside, he hears somebody coming up the stairs, he thinks it's the police, he starts down. What he sees instead is this cloud of white fog coming towards him. 
And as it gets closer, not only is it incredibly cold, but the stench of rotted meat is so overwhelming that if he hadn't been holding on to the banister, he just would have keeled right over. Uh, he rushes down, his parents are there, he hops in their car, he goes to their home, he calls the police. They must have shown up just a couple of minutes later. And what they saw was not a burglary in progress, but lights flashing on and off all over the house. The next day, Art returned with great trepidation. He really wondered what he was going to find. And what he saw up, on the, up in his rooms were that all the plants he had, all the leaves had turned brown and fallen off overnight. Now you might think that Art would just pack up and get out of there, but he said he was curious. And I think the free rent situation had something to do with it. So if this video has piqued your interest and you'd like to join me for one of my regularly scheduled tours or an out-of-town tour, please contact me, Stephanie Beninato, at my webpage www.swguides.com or give me a call at 505-988-8022. Thanks a lot.